In this video, we show how to design a Turing machine that accepts the following language. The language is LB, which is the set of strings WW reverse, where W is um, a string over the alphabet AB. So this is the set of even length palindromes. Okay, so it's W concatenated with the reverse of itself. Okay, so let's pick a string in the language and think about how we might um, have a Turing machine check. Okay, so let's pick the string A, B, A, A, B, A. Okay, so we're going to use our method of replacing a checked character with another symbol. Okay, in this case, let's replace A with X and B with Y after we've checked it. So what we really need to do in order if if w w verse is the string then it means if we start at the ends they should match and move in a character match move in a character they should match so that's what we're going to have the Turing machine do so we're going to replace uh, the first a with an x and we're going to scan to the right when do we stop scanning we stop stop scanning if we reach either the end of the string or a character we've already checked. So we're going to stop scanning if we see an X, a Y, or a blank. In this case, we've just started, so we find a blank. Okay, and then we're going to move left. So this will be the first unchecked character. So we're going to replace that with an X. Okay, if I had seen a B here, I would need to reject. Okay, now I've checked this. I want to go back and do this procedure again. So we scan left until I hit a checked character. So I'm looking for an X or a Y. Okay. Um, so I hit an X, I move right. So now I'm looking here at the B. Okay, I replace it with a Y and I scan right. Again, I'm looking for an X, a Y, or blank. I hit an X, I move left. So now I'm at this B. Okay, it matches. If it was an A, I would reject, but it isn't, it's a B. So I match it. I replace it with a Y and I move left. I move left until I see a checked character. So I'm looking for an X or a Y. I find a Y and I move right. So I'm looking at this A. Replace it with an X. Scan right. I'm scanning until the end of the uh, unchecked characters again. So I'm looking for an X or a Y so I know I can stop scanning right. So I hit a Y, I move left. Okay, this is an A, it matches. I was looking for an A and I found one. I replace it with an X and I move left. So now I'm back here again. Okay, normally we would scan for unchecked characters, um, but as soon as I start scanning, I find that I'm my tape head is sitting on a checked character. So it's an X. So now I would move right based on the way we've been doing this. And I don't find a new character. I find a checked character. Okay, I claim that at this point we can accept. Uh, the other way to do it is to scan right until we hit a blank and then accept. Okay, so this is going to be the basic procedure. Um, something to note, uh, if the string is empty string, we need to accept right away because uh, empty string empty string is equal to empty string, empty string reverse. Okay. Um, the other thing to notice, uh, we've already talked about how do we reject. We reject if we ever get a mismatch. So uh, like if I had the string AB, when I start up, X, I scan to the right, I find a blank, I move left. Okay, well I was looking for an A. I didn't get one, I got a B, so eh, we reject. Um, another way would be if this string is not uh, WW reverse, if it's odd. It can't be WW reverse if it's odd. So if I have, say, A, B, A, B, A, what do we do? We start off, we replace with an X, scan to the right. Hit a blank, go back one, replace it with an F, X, scan to the left. I hit the X, I bounce one to the right, I'm looking at the B, replace it with a Y, scan to the right. I hit the X, I move back one, I see the B, I got a match, great. Replace it with a Y, move left. I'm looking at the Y, move right one. So now I'm looking at the A, that's fine. I replace it 
Let me make this cleaner. That's not a good way to do that. Okay, I'm looking at the A, I replace it with an X. Okay, I, this is saying uh, I have found an A and I'm looking for its match in the second half of the string. Okay, so I am looking for an A. I scan the right for an unmatched character. I see a Y. I bounce back. I'm looking at an X. Okay, I needed to be looking at an A. I'm not. Okay, so at that, that point I need to reject. So notice that um, there's really two parts. The first part says I've matched a character in W and I need to find its match in the reverse. Okay, if I match a character in W and I scan to the right, if I don't find this character in W reverse, then I reject. Okay, so that's our basic idea. Um, notice that in this case, whatever a character I'm looking at when I, when I kind of start this, whatever character in W I'm looking at, that's the one I'm looking at in W reverse. So it matters if this was an A or if it was a B. So our Turing machine is going to have basically two branches. Uh, the first branch says I've read an A, so now I need to find an A. And the other branch says I found a B, so I need to find a B. Both branches will operate very similarly, but we can't mix them together. We need to make sure that if I've, if I've marked off an A, that I continue through that entire branch. Okay, so let's see how we can do this. So uh, let's start off in, make enough room, start off in Q0. Okay, and then I said two branches. So let's make our branches. All right, the first branch is gonna go to Q1 and it's gonna say, uh, I've read an A, so what do I do? I mark it with an X and I move right. Okay, this means I have found a character in W and I'm looking for its match in W reverse. Uh, remember, we wanna skip over everything in the middle of the string and I'm looking for the last unchecked character. How do I know it's the last unchecked character? I skip over anything that's an A, and I skip over anything that's a B. Okay, I keep doing that until I find either an X, where I mark it with an X and I move left, a Y, mark it with a Y and move left or a blank. Move left. Okay, so this tells me you've hit the end of the unmarked characters, go back one. The one you're looking for uh, that you need to check is back one to the left. Okay, so I'm in Q2. All right, so I'm only in Q2 if I'm looking for an A in the second half of the string. So what I want to do is if I find an A, I'm going to mark it with an X and I'm going to move left. Okay, notice here, if I was in Q2 and I saw a B, I would need to go to my reject state. Okay, it does exist, uh, we're just not drawing it, uh, mostly because we don't have room and because this pen is not great. Okay, so that's what I mean when I say we implicitly reject. I mean, there is a transition, you just don't see it. Okay, so here, we have now read the A in W, we've read the A in W reverse, and I'm looking left. What I'm doing now is I need to um, basically rewind, rewind. I need to get to the first unchecked character in W so I can start this process again. So let's call this state Q3. And what are we gonna do? We're gonna skip over A's and B's. I'm looking for the first unchecked character, not, not the third, fourth, or fifth. Okay, and at what point do I stop checking? Uh, or do I stop going back? I stop when I hit an X. Notice that it wouldn't break the machine, I don't think, can't think of a case where it would break the machine, to also have a transition here that says if you see a Y, write a Y and move right. But because of that idea of this branch, right, what branch are we in? We're in the A branch. How did we get into the A branch? Well, we read an A and we marked it with an X. So it's going to be the case that the last checked character was an A. 
which means we wrote an X, which means when I hit that X, I'm going to move right and I'm going to be looking at either an unchecked character or, or we're going to move into the second phase. Okay, so now we need to handle the branch um, where we see a B when we start up. So it's going to be again very similar, what, uh, Q4, that's the state name I haven't used yet. Okay, so I rate a B, I mark it, oh, that's going to be a problem later. Sorry, I'll try to make my transitions fit a little better. Okay, so I read a B, I move, I write a Y, and I move right. Okay, so here again, we're going to be very similar to the one above. I read that B, I moved right. I need to skip over anything in the middle. Okay, until... I bump into an already checked character, um, and that's going to be like an X, a Y, or in the case that this is the first, um, that B is the first character, I could possibly run into a blank. Okay. All right, in Q5, I'm saying, all right, I, I've, uh, I'm looking at the uh, last character the one I need to check in W reverse, and I need it to be a B. So if it's a B, I mark it with a Y, and I move left, and I go into state Q6. Okay, Q6, again, it was like Q3, it meant un uh, rewind, go back and find me another character to check. When I find it, it's going to be an X, or sorry, it's going to be a Y, it has to be a Y, because of the branch I was in. Okay. All right, and then I'm gonna repeat this procedure. How long do I repeat this procedure? Well, if we get to the case where we're looking at, so uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, let's do A, B, B, A. So just to run through real quick. This became an X, we went to the end, this became an X, we went to back to the beginning, this became a Y, uh, we hit the X, we bounced back, this B became a Y. We scanned left for a character to read, I found the Y, that told me to move right. Okay, so, here, uh, the transition from Q6 to Q0 is what I'm talking about. So I hit that Y, and I moved right. Now I should, if I want to continue this uh, upper loop, if you want to call it that, this, these two branches, I need to either see an A or a B. If I don't see an A or a B, it must be the case that I'm looking at an X or a Y. And if that's the case, it's because we've checked all of our characters. Okay, so at this point we want to transition down here um, and again, I claim that you could actually reject, or I'm sorry, you could actually accept at this point. Um, but we can also just move through our input. Until we hit a blank and then we could accept. Okay, so we have one other condition or one other case to handle. If uh, the string is epsilon on startup, I'm gonna be looking at a, bl a blank, and so I can take blank, blank, write, and accept. Okay, so we've handled the cases where we accept. If we think about what would happen if uh, we need to reject? So let's say I'm looking at the string A, B. This should reject. I start up my machine in Q0. I read the A. I mark it with an X and I move right. I skip over that B. I hit the blank, the end of the string. I bounce back. So I move back to one. I'm looking at the B. So I'm in Q2 looking at a B. I don't have a transition to take. So, so uh, by our convention, it means we're taking the transition to Q reject, and we 
reject that string. Okay. Uh, what happens if I have A, B, A? Okay. I'm in Q0. I read an A. I mark it with an X. Go right. Skip over my A's and B's. Hit the blank. Go back one. Looking at a, an A. Great. Mark it with an X and I move left. I got that B. I'm going to skip over um, the B until I hit the X. I move right. I'm looking at the B again. So I'm in Q0 looking at a B. I mark it with a Y and I move right. Q4, I have an X, I can move left, I move left. I'm in Q5, I have a Y, I don't have a B, I can't take a transition. Okay, it means I can't match this character. Um, previously I couldn't match the character because it didn't, the input language uh, characters, the input symbol characters didn't match here. I can't match the character because I've already checked off all of my characters in the string, that's why here. Okay, so I can't take a transition at Q5. I transition over to the reject state and I reject. Okay, so double check this. This should be correct um, and make sure it makes sense.